possible to ensure their safety. It remains uh, a continuing issue. Are, are there, in terms of threats, I know at one point there was the, the family had received some threats. Is that still? I'm not going to discuss anything further about that. Mr. Gottlieb, how much, uh, how much uh, influence do you think QAnon had uh, White House, you had mentioned the last time around that, uh, that it was hate speech coming down from the White House. How much, of, uh, how much, of, how much evidence do you have that, uh, well, how much, I guess my question is, how much time did uh, Camillo spend online uh, in this QAnon conspiracy? Uh, as far as computing how much time, yeah. uh, we'll, we'll conduct our own forensic evaluation of the computer, of his phones. Um, but I will repeat, nothing has changed, in fact, since the uh, last time we were in court. It's only been confirmed that uh, uh, the hate speech uh, found on multiple uh, right-wing conspiracy uh, websites uh, have uh, played a very significant uh, critical role in understanding what happened in this case. Uh, this is not some idle speculation. Uh, it's not uh, trying to set up some legal defense. We're just talking about the facts, the truth. And there's no doubt that uh, uh, this case reflects uh, the, the impact that words, hate words, hate speech can have on an individual, an individual who is vulnerable. Uh, and it goes far beyond Mr. Camello. So it's a serious issue. Uh, ultimately, at the end of the day, uh, all the facts, the truth, uh, will be, uh, will come out. Just a little follow-up. Can you, would you, uh, do you think that QAnon, the QAnon conspiracy, the people behind it, should be held accountable? My Are they responsible? My concern right now is uh, uh, representing Mr. Camello. He's the individual who's charged right now, and I'm going to do everything possible uh, to, uh, to protect him legally. Uh, as far as other people being held accountable, that's for other authorities. Uh, but people should not turn their eyes from the reality of, of what happened here and why it happened. Uh, it's, someone else, it's someone else's hands as to whether or not other individuals, other websites uh, are ultimately uh, uh, held accountable or bear responsibility. So if there is a direct link, can you, I guess the, the confusion that remains, if you can shed any light on how how, how Mr. Cowley plays into this, because I know, you know, the conspiracies talk about Democrats and high profile politicians. How does a, can you shed any light on that? How the a mob boss, you know? The, the answer is uh, I could, but I'm not going to discuss that further today. Okay. What's his mental state right now? Is he receiving threats? Where he's being held, is he being held in a separate location from other prisoners? I'm not going to discuss uh, where he's being held, how he's being held, except I do, uh, I commend uh, the Department of Corrections. I commend NYPD and the FBI for taking the issue of safety very seriously. And everything that I have seen shows that uh, they have carried out their their duties, their commitment to do exactly that. Uh, beyond that, I'm not going to comment. Does he have any pre can you talk about his previous criminal history? I'm not going to discuss any of that. How about his uh, his uh, drug addiction? Is he on medications inside of the uh, wherever he's being held by now? Yeah. His his medical needs are being met. Being met. Yeah. All right. Is it opiate related? Uh, opioids? I'm not going to discuss that. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very Thank you. much. Thank you very much.